Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this quick video is take a look at the differences between 1CNC Mill Expert and 1CNC Mill Professional. This is a question we get asked all the time, so I thought we'd put together a quick little video for you to take a look at. Take a look at the differences between the products. If you have any questions, contact us. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. This video is going to provide a nice, quick, stand-up, side-by-side -side comparison between both of these powerful 1CNC products. On the left here, we have 1CNC Mill Expert. On the right, we have 1CNC Mill Professional. Now, there's going to be differences both in the geometric and the manufacturing side between both of these products. Let's start with the geometric differences. Over here on the left within Mill Expert, I'm going to come down here and select Model Tools. And we'll do the same thing over here on the right within Mill Professional. We'll select Model Tools. The first thing you'll notice within Mill Expert, you'll see that there's a powerful command here called shelling. Shelling allows you to shell your solid models. What you do is you simply select the side that you'd like to get rid of, and then one CNC will shell the solid model, giving you nice even walled thickness throughout the entire model. This is a very powerful command, and again, it's called shelling and only available within the Mill Expert. Notice also that there's an option within Mill Expert called Parting Tools. Parting Tools is a great suite of tools of taking your geometry and splitting it into different pieces. There's lots of applications for this, but primarily this gets used for mold making. The next thing you'll see within Mill Expert is there's an option here called Perfect Render. Now what Perfect Render does is it gives you the ability to create photorealistic renderings of your part. What this means is that you're going to have the ability to use different light sources, use different colors, have shadows, reflections, and things like that. It's a very, very powerful command when you want to get a nice rendering of your part. So those three options available within Mill Expert and not available within Mill Professional. All right, let's take a look now at the model operations. I'm going to click on that within Expert and also within Mill Professional. So we're inside of model operations now. Now on the Expert side, notice that you have Remove Hole or Pocket. This is a great feature. So if I had a hole or pocket in this, I could digitize that hole or pocket and one CNC would fill that hole or pocket up. It's a great way to re quickly remove a hole or pocket that you quickly created within a solid model. There's also Extend a Surface. This allows you to extend extend the side of the surface that you digitize. You can also untrim a surface. This will take the surfaces and return them back to their original geometry. And then there's create intersection geometry. This is going to create wireframe geometry at the intersection of both surfaces. So these very four powerful commands definitely available within Mill Expert and not available within the Mill Professional. Another very powerful feature within Mill Expert is the Pages command. Notice in the lower left hand corner here there's an option called Pages. This is not available within Professional. Pages gives you a quick and efficient way to create prints from 3D models. This is very, very nice tool. Uh, it allows you to quickly create different views of your solid model, make cross-section views, and plus this is all dynamic. So once you create your 3D print uh, for your part, you can go back into the part and make changes and your print will update automatically. Very, very nice command. It's called Pages and that's available within Mill Expert. All right, so those are some of the geometric tools that you're going to have within Mill Expert. Let's take a look now at some of the manufacturing tools provided by Mill Expert. First of all, let's start with just our standard pocket operation. So we're going to go to our stock tool pass. Let's go to pocket. I'm going to select that shape right there. I realize that's not a pocket. I'm just using that rectangle for an example here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push through these pages until we get right here. And I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Let's do the same uh, within Mill Professional. So again, we're in our standard two and a half axis stock tool pass. We're going to go into pocketing. Again, I'm going to use that same shape uh, for a pocket there. And I'm just going to push through the pages here until we get to this dialog box. Okay, so you'll notice that within Mill Expert, you have an option here called Center Optimized Closed. 
This is a pocket operation designed when you have pockets that are separated by very thin walls. This is a very powerful command and its primary duty is to maintain those thin walls when you're performing your high speed pocket operations. So this is definitely available within Mill Expert and you can see over here it's not available within Mill Professional. Another very powerful option you're going to have within Mill Expert is this option here called Machine from Stock. Now what this means is that you can use a solid model to help contain your toolpath. So imagine a solid model, maybe it's a solid model of a casting. Well you can use that solid model to contain the toolpath. So within Mill Professional, the only way that you can contain toolpath for your, your different operations would be using wire frame geometry, whereas within Mill Expert, you have the ability to actually use a solid model to contain the toolpath as well as wire frame geometry. So that's a very nice feature uh, within the Mill Expert. So I'm going to cancel out of both of those. Let's take a look now at the biggest difference between Mill Expert and Mill Professional. If we head over here to our three axis commands within Mill Expert, you can see there's actually 20 commands here. If we head over here to Mill Professional and we go into the same three axis group of commands, you can see that there's only five here. There's uh, two three axis machining operations for roughing compared to six machining operations for roughing within Mill Expert. And then if we take a look at the finishing side, there's three machining operations for three axis finishing, whereas on the one CNC Mill Expert, you have 14 different machining operations for your three axis finishing. So this is a huge difference, and it's the primary difference between the Mill Expert and the Mill Professional. All right. Also notice that within the Z-level rough for the one CNC mill expert, if we were to push through this quick, I'll just put a feed right in there just to get us going here. Notice that within the Z-level rough, you also have center optimized closed as well as the machine from stock option. And these two options are not going to be available within the mill professional. If I go into the same Z-level rough command, let's move this over just a little bit. And again, let's just put in any feed rate to get us going here. We'll come over here and you can see that you do not have the center optimized pockets for thin walled pockets and you don't have the machine from stock option here. Okay, so that's the primary difference between the expert and the professional are the three axis machining commands. Again, there's very nice powerful geometric features available within expert that you're not going to have in professional but I would say the biggest difference is going to be this three axis machining. Alright thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.